Okay, we are recording. Okay, thank you. Yep. Have a great meeting. Thank you. Hello. Hey. How are you? <laughs> Hanging in. How about you? Good. So we are we're recording to the cloud, just so you know. So okay, <laughs> I won't say anything too revealing. <laughs> <laughs> so did I? I we um, myself and uh, another friend brought our kids to the Eric Carl last week. I think. Oh, good. Yeah, it was nice. It was quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Did manage to do some crafts in the oh, good. craft room. And the kids loved running around in the gallery. So oh, nice. good. Well, thanks for coming. Yeah, how's the uh, attendance been? It's quiet. Yeah. It's quiet. But um, yeah, it's picking up a little bit. But yeah, it's still still quiet. Yeah. Hi, Amy. Hi, Shona. Hi, Bill. Hi, so Ellen. We are Hi, Shona. Uh, we're already recording, um, so just so you know. And Jim is not going to be here today. 
Okay. So we'll just get started since it is 12 oh one. Somebody's got somebody's got music on. Turn down the music. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna read the little spiel I have to read for us to begin, and then we can get started. So. Pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, General Law Chapter 38, Section 18, this meeting of the Amherst Public Art Commission is being conducted by a remote participation. Now I have to do a roll call check just to make sure everybody's here and can hear. So Ellen Kider. Here. Amy Crawley. Here. Shona King. Here. And Bill Kazin here. Jim Barnhill is absent. Um, the meeting is now called to order, and if anybody wants to call in on the phone, press, if anybody's calling in on the phone, nobody currently is, press star nine to raise their hand to speak. All right. So, hello. Hello. I will begin <laughs> by saying I expect this to be a very short meeting primarily because I have had zero time basically to put towards public art commission stuff in the last three weeks or so since it's been since we last met. The situation with the public schools as some of you may have been following have been, uh, well, from some of our point of view, extremely challenging and uh, it's kind of absorbing much of my time plus other commitments that I have. So it's, um, yeah, it's been tough. Yep. But we can discuss that elsewhere. Uh, <laughs> so, chair reports. Um, I have really nothing to report except one thing. I've been working, one thing I have been working on, sort of, is working with Brianna Sonnard. Sorry, Brianna, I'm sure I pronounced your last name wrong. Um, in town hall to get a press release written, 4% um, for art. And so I drafted it and I sent it to her, and she had said that. Um, Lynn Griesemer and maybe somebody in town hall want to add to it. Um, basically, I, I wrote like a paragraph summary and then threw in a quick quote of my own at the bottom and, you know, it'd be nice to get, you know, town council people on board mm. and Paul or somebody else in town hall to just say, hey, this is great. So that we have a press release, we can blast to the press. We did get a write up in Mass Live. And the other thing is that the Mass Municipal Society is, you called me up to do something on there website for their um, newsletter for their folks. But that's really the only press I've seen. Um, and even the Gazette, I don't think did a follow up piece after that initial, this is coming up for a vote. Um, so once we have a press release, then we can kind of bomb that out a bit and try to get a little more attention. The other thing that I think is key about the press release is that we, we want to fill those two seats that we have and we have to start interviewing people. So once we have the press release that I think we put the call out again for new members, and then we link to the press release and say, hey, come join us. You get to work on this exciting new project. Um, and I think that hopefully would be a selling point. And Amy, I did get that email you sent me, and I haven't been able to follow up yet with that okay. person from UMass. But that would be somebody to reach back out to. Or in fact, you might want to do that and say, hey, we're looking for new members. So you, you might want to think about applying. That I can follow up. Um, you know, and Amy had come by, um, and I signed off on the forms that we needed to get the checks cut. I haven't heard anything back, so you can let me know what's going on with that, Amy, once we get to Electrify Amherst. Um, and I think that's about it from my end as far as uh, APAC business is concerned. So Shona Chesner's report, same, I guess. We haven't really same, spent any money. Yeah, no change. <laughs> okay. Oh, I guess the other thing is we could, I looked at the minutes. Um, and the one thing I did notice is uh, Lillian Shu is her last name. It's H-S-U. S-H-U. Okay. H-H-S-U. So, H-S-U. Thank yeah. you. Um, but otherwise, it looked good to me. Uh, if anybody else has any significant changes, otherwise, I say we move to ratify the minutes and yeah, I, okay. I move that amount this morning to it <laughs> any second 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 uh, all in favor of approving the minutes hey unanimous okay bravo <laughs> okay so treasure support is on uh, percent for art like i said no news um so on to electrify amherst amy where do we stand um, pretty much where, what you've already, uh, stated, 
the check, or I should say, the paperwork for the reimbursement was submitted to the Amherst Cultural Council on October 8th. Um, I got a email acknowledgement from Gigi, and so it's, it's in their ballpark right now, uh, hopefully going through the process to have the uh, check uh, sent out. I did request that they send the check uh, to Bill's address because we cannot access our mailbox at the library. And Gigi didn't think there would be any uh, problem with that. So as you said, what, once the check comes in, then, then we'll do the next part on, on uh, getting it deposited and turned around to the artist. Great. Oh, and Jim Barnhill did take photos of the two artists oh, yes. with the boxes, um, and he sent them to me. Did he send them to you as well, Amy? Or? I haven't received anything. Um, I did hear he had one scheduled um, and was waiting back to hear from the other folks, so it sounds like he may have made contact with two out of the three then. Yeah, he did. And the third, so he has a photo of Michelle Bijans and Peter mm. Zierling. And then the third artist didn't want to be photographed with her box. So we should oh. just get some photos of the box. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> my, my little videos that I've got um, on Slate still are, they're going to happen. They just, <laughs> there's a bigger project that had a harder deadline that jumped in front of it. No but problem. that is done now. And it should, it's it, eminent. <laughs> I, I have some the pictures that I took that I can send you, Shona. Um, okay. And I don't know if Michelle had also reached out to you because she had a bunch of pictures. Yes, she did. And she okay, also cool. wanted to redo her interview. So we actually <laughs> did a, like a re-interview with her last week. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like we have lots of, lots of good stuff to, to get out there uh, in the coming weeks. Yeah. Great. Uh, so, nothing else, Amy? No? Not for not for the box project. Okay, Town Hall Gallery. Uh, Town Hall Gallery is the same. Um, I've been in touch with Chris Bordenka, who would have been our on-site artist for November December. Um, he's interested with doing the digital, and he has videos and things. So I'm I'm working with him to get stuff put together and on our Facebook page and on the page on the town website. Right. Cool. He was the one that had the fun, like toys and stuff, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a yeah. fun one. Yeah. He's got some nice stuff, uh, time lapse videos and things. So. Ooh, cool. Can't wait to see hey, it. Amy, I'm sorry. Yes. Um, what's Chris's last name? It's Bordenka, which is B O R D E N C A, I believe. Bord Thank you. Bordenka. Yep. You're welcome. Uh, social media and the updates while well, that was sort of tied to social media. So any further yeah. crossover yeah. there? Shona, no, no, I know, you know, as, as Shona and I can, we are putting, just putting other things up there with public art stuff or things going on town, around town. I don't know if anybody had the opportunity to go to the uh, photography projection oh, event on right. Friday. How was it? No, I, I unfortunately Yes, I, I did. It. How was it? I found it actually incredibly depressing. Really? <laughs> Why? Yeah, well, it was like just all these like really happy families in front of their big houses and it just felt like a kick in the gut to me. Oh. Wow. Was there, were there a lot of people there? Yes, there was actually. There was way more people than I thought there would be. That's great. Good. But yeah, that's that was my takeaway of it. Where, where, did, where did this take place? I missed this completely. Behind AJ Hastings in that little parking lot, that hidden yep. secret parking lot. Yep. All right. Um, I guess this plans moving forward. There's also other business. So that, I guess the big piece of business that wasn't actually on the agenda that should be is um, poetic the grant for poetic dialogue. And um, what's going on with that, Ellen? Well, um, I just wanted to ask, um, I went on the um, Cultural Council's website, which is really just, you know, tied into the town website. And then 
when you click on the application or more information it takes you to MCC and then the applications through MCC. That sounds right, Amy? Yes. Okay. All right. Then I will yes. work on that. I just wanted to confirm that that was the you're taking me to the right place. <laughs> so it's not it's really through okay. Yeah, it it all kind of does that filter through the okay so the state site um, application through MCC. Okay. And what's the deadline on that again? The fifteenth of November, I believe. So, so I'll try up. to I'll try to see if I can write my text in Word or something, and then share it with you before Bill. Mm. I before I yeah. submit. Do we need to reach out to the person who was going to do the restoration work to make sure that the price that he quoted us two years ago I is still did, I did. I talked to him. Yeah. Um, and he said that the $800 is still fine if we're going to do um, just like a like an in-place restoration um, where mm. it's like sanding and painting and that sort of thing. But if we wanted to have it like removed and brought to his shop and completely resurfaced, then that would be more. And mm. he, um, he wasn't solid on a number, but it would be something a little more like 1300. Yeah, well, even that seems very reasonable. Mm -hmm. I mean, should yeah. we, should we do the bigger ask? Is that right. I, it will I would, last longer. He said the um, like the sanding and the painting would last. You know, he expects probably about two years, and then it would be needed to be done again. Whereas, bringing it out and resurfacing it would be like you know ten years. It strikes me as a very low number, just under two thousand dollars to remove the entire thing, transport it, refinish it, bring it back, reinstall it. Uh, well, he was not. He was not. Um, firm on that number it was just kind of like fly by the seat of his pants and he never actually <laughs> sent me an email confirming that so um if if we are interested in the bigger deal um i can go back to him and get him to like actually send something for real yeah. well, there, go ahead i'm sorry oh uh, no I, I was just gonna say that, that we've always when we've applied for anything we always go with a higher number and then there is a part on the application, if you don't receive the full amount, you know, plan A, plan B. Um, and, and we'd also talked about possibly working with Dickinson Museum. So there might be some other uh, support there or funds or something. I mean, this is something that does occur to me. Technically, we're only an advisory body. Are we supposed to be paying an outside contractor who's essentially contracting with the town. I mean, there's, isn't there, there's like a bidding process usually for these kinds of things, I think. I don't know what the legality of any of this is um, or whether that's an issue. It strikes me that this may be more complicated than we think. I mean, it's, the thing about the- I wonder actually if that's, if you're using like town budget funds, but being that we're gonna be using a grant, maybe that because of those monies being different, it would be like a different process. You know what I mean? I think I better reach out to Paul though and just double check. Um, okay. But it seems to me like we'd certainly like to choose the better option, the more long lasting option. It doesn't make any sense for us or anybody to be dealing with this every two years. Um, yeah. You know, we want a more permanent fix. Ellen, um, as somebody who deals with sculpture <laughs> more commonly and outdoor pieces that you have a few. Yeah, I mean, that, that does seem like a very low number if um, Kamal's bringing it to his shop, but I don't know again, do you know where his shop is? Is it? It's in Ludlow. Okay. It used to be in Holyoke, but now it's in Ludlow. Okay. So it's a bit of a haul. Um, I think we would want to get something either in email or writing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if MCC is going to ask to see the quote, um, if that's part of the application or not, but yeah. I think. Well, we I'd be more comfortable with the actual real, you know, written down yeah. quote myself. Yeah. 
being that he was, you know, just kind of on the fly with the, the higher number? Um, yeah, I can't remember. There, there is a section where you could include other information. So what you're referring to, Ellen, with, you know, maybe needing a, a copy of a quote or something. I don't, I don't know if that would qualify and, and fit under that section, but okay. there is often, you know, additional documentation that can be included in the application, depending on what you're applying for. And I mean, the person who's, we've asked to do this, should we be getting more than one quote? I mean, it's, I don't know who this person is, what their qualifications are. Um, I really wasn't in on that process. You've seen his artwork. Um, he did like the sign for the high horse and he did the Viking ship oh. inside the high horse and and other stuff around town. He's been around a while doing yeah. doing his thing. Similar kinds of cut cut metal, big plates of cut metal. So it's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, what do you all think? I'm not quite sure how, I mean, like, so if I was doing a project like this, you know, I would typically, I mean, obviously we don't have much time, but, you know, I'd want to have gotten multiple quotes. Um, I don't know, how, 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 where do we want to go with this? How far do we want to, or need to, maybe, I mean, maybe the town manager is a good, we should just bounce it off of him and see. Um, I think we should just do a two pronged approach where mm -hmm. um, maybe Bill, you go to the town manager and ask if um, if we're if we receive grant money whether we can just select our own restorer or if it has to go through the the typical town process um, but again as um, Shoshana mentioned maybe because it's grant funds and not town money we may be able to just do that and then um, the other approach is to talk get more detail from Kamal Okay, sounds good. Um, and um, Shoshana, do you want to do that or you want me to reach out? Do, uh, I can yeah. talk to Kamal. Okay, thank you. Yeah, if you want to know more about him, um, on the um, Amherst Arts Night Plus YouTube page, there's a video <laughs> of his the, uh, showcasing his work and his, uh, his artistic background. What's his last name? Peters. Kamal Peters. Yeah, it's actually spelled like Camille Peters. Yeah, right. Camille. Okay. But yeah. it's, he pronounces it Kamal. Got it. Cool. All right. Um, okay, so no problem. I will definitely uh, send an email to Paul. If that doesn't get a response, I'll try to schedule a meeting with him. It might be worth, because we still have this issue at the Boltwood. Um, yeah. It might be worth talking to him about that. I haven't heard anything. So yeah, maybe it's better if I just schedule a phone meeting with him as soon as I can get one. Um, okay, anything else? I, I had a, a question. I was just wondering, Bill, if you'd heard anything about the RISE mural project. Did anything oh, come of that? Sorry. Yes, they selected a winner. Oh, so did, okay. did you did you guys see any of the entries? The no. Um, well, maybe I can pull it up and show you. Let me see. Uh, give me a second. Where would it be? Where would it be? Let me search on my computer. Rise, rise folder. Uh, artist submissions. Yeah. Okay. You want me to share it? I think I can bring this up. Totally. All right. Uh, let's see. Share screen. And then I want to share Rise Artist Submissions. All right. Are you guys seeing that? This? I'm flipping through the first two pages. A Apex? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to jump to the. Sorry, I'll probably make you guys dizzy. Let me also make, <laughs> make this full screen. Um, I'll flip through fairly quickly until we get to the actual submissions. Da, 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 da. The retail art programming. <laughs> Funny right. how they call it that. All right, so here's, this is the artist Apex. This was his proposal. Some of, the, some of the artists submitted more than one proposal. 
This is his second proposal. He had two concepts. Hmm. Wow, they're doing the whole building. Whole building. Cool. This is the next artist. I'll tell you what my favorite was, and I'll tell you who won. <laughs> my favorite did not win. My second choice did did win, though. Mm -hmm. This is Ricky Watts. I think I might have had him as my third choice, but I didn't love his proposal. It's it reminds me of like seventies. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> Wow, he would really do like photorealistic <laughs> stuff. Yeah, that's very surprising. Although yeah. maybe 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 I shouldn't be revealing who I voted for on this in this public forum. <laughs> I'll just tell you who won. No, I don't I, I don't mind telling you who my pick was. I don't think that's a matter of Privacy. This is his second. So they really did get um, some big More ladybugs. You know, so this was the winner. So it's all local animals, giant <laughs> size. A big uh, turkey. Mixed in, yeah, which I thought was a giant, a giant chickadees. So I thought giant at least this was, for stoners, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> So. Yeah, I like the chickadees. You know, yeah. it is our state bird. Yes, I exactly. do love birds. Yes, I, I don't know about the turkey though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The turkey's hilarious. So this is his other proposal, which did not get chosen. Just uh, I like the other one here. Colors, pretty. So she was my first choice, and she was the only woman in the pool. Yeah. Um, so I was disappointed that she didn't she didn't get picked. But I, you know, uh, cool. I, I think I think she's she's sort of miles ahead of the rest. She actually picked all. She wanted to do all local local uh, peeps, including. <laughs> ah, potentially. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Although I don't know if you could have gotten permission for that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah, I really liked hers. I was disappointed. But same mm -hmm. Emily. Emily in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun. Yeah. So there's maybe the last one. These are not, I like these as well for abstract, semi-abstract floral mm -hmm. forms. Pretty Very cool. real nature, the, the colors, it doesn't pop like the other ones. Yeah. It's, it's a little more subdued, blends. So that was it. Oh. Were, so were any of the artists New England based artists? No. Yeah. I don't think so. What was the name of the winner? Oh, <laughs> they're going to make me go back. All right, hold on. Oh, hold no. On. I, I, <laughs> no gonna put it in the, I was going to put it in the minutes, but. No, I'll, I'll look. It's, uh... So his, his, it's Zeos or Zeo, Z A E O S. I don't know if they give his any other name for him. That's just his, uh, his, Nom de plume. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can see why they picked the one that that won because it's like, you know, when you're dealing with that kind of commerce, you don't want to be like a little too wild looking, you know. <laughs> well, there was a lot of, I wouldn't say complaints, but there was uh, anyway. There's a number in, in North Amherst where I live. There's a number of loud voices <laughs> who are saying, <laughs> you know make sure this is appropriate and so i think they went with a safer choice maybe the say one of the safer choices but it, yeah. it's not there's something to it i mean i think it's i think it's gonna look i think it'll look great yeah yeah be exciting just to you know have something that that mm -hmm. big in the area yeah and have to have the artist here um, mm -hmm. you know so they they had reached out to me saying they want to help with P, help with pr just getting the local community on board a little bit more um and they do have a community outreach person who's been running a lot of this, Skype in. 
who actually did grow up around here. So he's, um, uh, he's the one who's been kind of co was coordinating the jury. Um, so I don't know if they'll actually call on us for anything, but um, I'm happy to help however I can when, or see how, however we can. When, when were they, what's the target for having the painting? Not clear to me. Not clear to me if they're trying to do it now or if, or if they're, they're <laughs> going to wait until the spring. I would, I would hope they would wait until the spring, but I'm not sure. Cool. I have to admit, when I heard about the mural, it, it like brought back this memory of that I had of going to the Netherlands to a, a coffee shop and there was this giant mural done by Boris Vallejo of like this woman <laughs> riding a panther. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> So this is a little more subdued, but uh, <laughs> it fits. I think it yeah. fits. Yeah, I think it fits. So anything else? Uh, scheduling our next meeting. I guess that's what we're doing then. Let's see. Get my calendar up. Mm. Where's my outlook? So we're at the 26th today, three weeks out would be the 16th, four weeks out would be the 23rd. Mm -hmm. I say the, the week before Thanksgiving or the week of Thanksgiving? Oh, yes. So the week of Thanksgiving, I may well be out of town. Or we could do it the 30th mm -hmm. week. Yeah. So probably the 23rd is not a good day. Yeah, I, I, uh, I would say the 16th or the 30th, too. I, I agree with you. OK. Any other opinions? The thirtieth is uh, St. Andrew's Day, a Scottish holiday. <laughs> and there's a full and there's a full moon. Ooh, oh, I have 30th. the cultural council grant due on Monday, the November sixteenth date. I mean, that might be an opportunity. It depend if it's a midnight deadline, we could discuss it in the meeting on the sixteenth. That so might that, be good. Yeah. If there's anything to discuss, but I, yeah. I need. I mean, we can put it up for the 16th, and I need to confirm that date. Okay. Time. Okay, I think that's a good idea. Okay. All right. So Monday, November 16th. All right. All right. So um, action items. I will. Sh I think I'll set up a phone meeting with Paul um, as soon as I can get one. Um, and if I can't get one soon, then um, send him an email. And Shona, you'll reach out to Kamal. Ellen, you'll get started on writing up something. Yep. Amy, you're always busy with a million things for us. <laughs> well, I, I will follow up with the email from oh. the UMass mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. about opening on a, on the commission. Yeah, great. Yeah, and me and Arwen will work on those videos. Great. And I'll send you photos. <laughs> great, I'll make sure, we'll make sure Jim sent me the photos, but we'll make sure it gets them to you guys or I'll forward them to you guys. Okay. All right. So very okay. short, efficient, sweet meeting. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you all. Okay. Take care, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.